Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a digital asset management system called BrandBay. Now in this BrandBay review, I wanna show you exactly what BrandBay is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And if you are thinking about getting started with BrandBay, they are currently having a launch deal. So if you wanna get the best possible price of BrandBay, make sure you use the link in the description and you'll also be helping support the channel. Okay, so first of all, what is BrandBay? Well, it is a DAM, which is short for Digital Asset Management System. And what this allows you to do is upload multiple brands' assets and their branding, which includes things like their color hexes, their logos, templates, and different types of files. And then if you are doing any work and you need to get access to these files or reference codes quickly, you can use that Chrome extension to quickly go in, choose the brand you want, and inside there is going to be all of the different branding info. So this is perfect if you are a digital marketer or if you run multiple brands or if you are a digital agency because instead of having to go to places like Google Drive or Notes to try to get different brand hexes and logos, you can quickly use BrandBay to access what you need. So instead of trying to tell you what BrandBay is, I'm going to jump behind the screen and show you BrandBay. Okay, so we're first going to start here on the BrandBay website. What I first wanna do is run through all of the features available on BrandBay, just in case I miss out on any in this product review. Then I'm also going to go through the pricing as well as the lifetime deal and promo that they have going on right now. And then I'll log into the dashboard and show you how it works. So the first thing I want to point out is it says here it is an instant access multi-brand asset management system, which sort of targets things like agencies as well as people who run multiple brands. Now this is great because they also say without the hefty price tag, so I assume there are some different types of damn platforms out there that cost an arm and a leg. So these guys are trying to cut the competition and basically provide a good low cost solution. Now, if we come down just a little bit here, you will notice they talk about the browser extension, which I do actually have live. I've just clicked on it now and you can see it's pulling it up. And we'll go through that in just a sec. But the browser extension makes things very easy if you are someone who uses Google Chrome. Next on the left, we have all the different types of assets you can upload, things like different logos, different colors, fonts. You can also have different links, different files, different images and videos, and then you can switch between brands. So those are sort of the assets you can have for each one. We've also got here custom collections, which is sort of like all your different templates inside of that particular brand. And you can quickly switch between brands as well. The good thing about it too, is you can add multiple users. So if you have a big team or a team of, um, content creators or graphic designers, they can quickly come in here as well. And then we also have a search feature. So this is pretty cool. You can come on the website and click the play button if you wanna see how it works, but I'll also show you in a second. Now just keep in mind, these are all uh, kept safe as well. They have DDoS protection for your files, so it's never going to get hacked into, which is good to have. And then if we come down just a little bit further on the front page, you actually notice they have the pricing here. Now the early access lifetime deal, this is going to run out within a day and a little bit. So there's a good chance not everyone is going to see this. Luckily, they are probably going to have a few more deals run over the next six months. But apart from that, they're extremely affordable anyway. On a monthly plan, you can have one brand for free. And if you're on the basic plan with teams, you can have five brands. You can also have different types of groups collections. You can have two users and clients, 10 gig of storage. And then the higher you go, the more you have as well. Now at the bottom here, if you are watching this video as I have launched, it, hopefully it's going to be out within the next hour or so. You also have the ability to use the CM40 discount coupon code to take 40% off. It's actually Cyber Monday right now. So that's why this deal is going. There's a very good chance it's not going to be there much longer. So what I'm going to do right now is instead of showing you all the features, I'm going to go inside and show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in my brand bay dashboard. I've gone ahead and actually purchased the lifetime deal. I run a few brands, so I had to jump on this offer. It will save me so much time in the long run. But what you'll first notice when you log in is this little pop-up will appear. It'll give you a short video where you can see how it works. You can also create your first brand, check out some different tutorials. You can also get the browser extension. So I've gone ahead and um, just gone to Google Chrome store just to show you what it looks like. Mine's already added. And then you can close this and start playing with it. Now, 
Just to give you a quick tour so you know how everything works, on the top left here we've got the example brand which everyone gets on a, uh, the first time they log in. Basically it's just to show you what it could look like and if you click on this little hamburger menu, this is where you can add in all of your brands. Now I've already played around with it and added in one of my brands but I'll go ahead in this demo and actually upload this legit marketing reviews brand too. Now to give you an idea of how it works, on the left here we have all of the different types of assets, things like logos, colors, fonts, links, files, images, and videos. So if you were to start a brand new brand, you would probably first come to logos inside of here, and this is where you can go and add in your different logos. You can also add in different color variations, different sizes, everything like that. So no matter what type of graphic or document or whatever it might be that you're looking for, you can quickly come inside here, and if you see if you hover over it, there's a little link button. So if you click on that and actually go to a brand new web page, you can paste it in and it's going to take you directly to that logo. This is perfect if you are sending a link to one of your team members. You can also download it here as well if you want, but everything is there ready to roll and that goes for all of the different um, assets as well. So if you had colors, for example, you just hover over the color you click on duplicate and it says here hex code copied so if I went to a new page and just pasted it in you can see that there is the hex code right there. So it's pretty cool it gives you all of these different options and it just makes everything clickable which is fast and easy to use. Next we have things like fonts, you can upload different fonts, different heading sizes as well. This is perfect if brands have multiple different fonts for different headings. I know some people do that, kind of annoying but it's the way it is so this is giving you that opportunity. We also have links, once again you just paste in a link and it's going to show you what the page looks like. Once again click on it and it's going to copy the link, super quick and easy. You can upload different files as well and if you are someone that uses Google Drive you can add in a Google Drive link too, so it makes things nice and quick. Same thing with images once again. You can upload multiple files and then also the same with videos. And down the bottom we have here what is called collections. Basically what this allows you to do is create just little specific groups of content that you have inside of it. For example, if you were having a summer promotion, you could put all of the banners that are for the summer promotion. You could also put the different fonts and everything like that. So if you quickly wanted to reference this particular event, you just come right down to the bottom to collections and this is here. So they've called this one the brand kit. The next one is the product reveal. And you can call these whatever you want and I believe you can create as many different collections as you want as well as long as you are on a paid plan. So this is really cool, it just makes things that much quicker to go ahead and get the right content that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and add a new brand just so you can see how it actually works. So come across to the top right to the hamburger of this little first column and then click on plus brand. This is going to allow you to add in a brand name, so I'm just going to call this Legit Marketing Reviews. It's now asking to upload white logo, so what I'm going to do is pause the video and upload the logo. Okay, so that has been added. Now it is asking for my primary brand color. And what this color is going to do is actually change all of the text and the, the color theme of the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my primary brand color. Now it's not going to make the logo look quite right, especially on this version because it asked for a white logo and I don't actually have one. So I'll paste this in here, click on select, and I'll go ahead, click on next. You'll notice the button's changed as well. Now inside here I'm going to type in my site link, okay, real quick, and then for add a font, I'm just going to go and choose Lato, like so, okay, and go ahead and click finish. Now this is going to take about 10 seconds, so I'll quickly pause the video. Okay, so now everything has been set up. You'll notice on the left, the color that I added in, which was my brand color, has now been added to all of these different tabs. All of the different types of logos have been added in too. You'll also notice my sites as well, as well as my heading text. So this is the perfect start for actually creating my brand assets. So what I would do now is go ahead and start adding in all of the different color components. So now that I've added my first one, I'll go and click on new on the right here, put this name in and this will be light blue, okay? And I'll go ahead and grab the code real quick. So it's this one here, okay, paste it in to color. You can add all different types of color formats, um, like so, okay, click on select, click save color. I may have actually added in the same one, I think I did, sorry about that. So I'll go and choose the darker one, 
Okay, so I'll delete this one and add a new. So this one can be dark blue, okay. And paste this in like so. Click on save color. And now we have another variation of our color. So you'll just come inside here, choose all of your components, right? So if it's a specific type of black, go and save color and you can start adding these in. The same thing goes for all of your logos. If you just wanted a logo without the color in the background, I'll just pause the video and upload again. Okay, so that's been added. I'll just add that in. You can also choose if it's transparent as well based on the link. So it doesn't matter what your background color is, but just to make it look a little bit more pleasing, I'll choose white, click on save, and that's been added. But just come inside here and basically add in all of the different variations for your square logos, your horizontal logos, your vertical logos. And then you can go and add in all of your important pages of your website. So I'll go ahead and just add one more in just so you know what it looks like. I'll just pause this real quick. Okay, so I've added in the resources page. I'll go and click add link. And in a few seconds, you can see we can start building out all of the site pages. This is great if you want it to be easy reference for a particular customer, right? You can add in all of their website pages or even just important pages. And these are all ready to go when you need them. So it's very cool. I'll add in one heading as well so you can understand how it works. So I'll come to fonts, click on add new font right this is going to be an h2 let's just say i've changed it to um let's just say i've changed it to poppins right and let's just say the size is 26 right you can also choose a weight so i'm going to say 600 right oh, it goes to 500 so that's close enough you can choose the spacing i'm going to click save font now it's going to read, this is in heading two in poppings, right? So it's pretty cool. You can add all of your different headings there. So if you were creating an article for them, for example, or creating content with it, you can quickly come inside here and you can grab uh, or reference all of the different colors and heights and everything like that. So it's pretty cool. Now let's quickly look at files. Links are pretty self-explanatory. Add a link, it's going to show you what the page is. This is actually also really good if people run things like funnels or different types of um, advertising in different places. You can quickly add the links to those campaigns. But files is an interesting one. We have here the ability to either upload via direct or from Google. So if you have got files inside of Google Drive or Clients Drive, for example, you can just grab the Google link and add it inside of here. And instead of having to download it and re-upload it, you can just put it directly from Google Drive into BrandBay, which is, I think, a bit of a time saver, which is pretty cool. Next, images, videos, same thing once again, it's pretty self-explanatory, same thing with colors. But down below, we've got collections. By default, you have your brand kit, and this is going to be the first ones you've added. If you wanna add a new collection, at the top here, we have plus collection, so click on that. I'm going to call this the summer sale, okay? Go click create collection. And now what this is going to allow you to do is inside of summer sale this is where you can add in all your different types of assets so for example if you come to colors if i want the dark blue for that collection click on that little down arrow and come to add to collection and then you can just choose um, which one you want it to be a part of for example summer sale and then it's going to say oops no color groups found click to create group just because our current collection actually has nothing in it so go click on this button it's going to say what is the collection click summer sale group name is going to be summer colors right and group type is going to be colors click on create and now it is going to create the group so choose summer colors add to collection all right and now we're good to go. So click on done. If you come to summer sale, we now have summer colors inside here. And it's pretty cool because you can create multiple different types of groups inside here as well. So let's go and add in some more assets. So let's go to uh, images. Let's just say I wanted to add in this logo, right? Once again, add to collection, choose collection, summer sale. It's saying no, um, no group found. So click on that, choose collection, summer sale. Group name is going to be summer images, right? and group type once again is images and you can choose the different types as well this one's a square so i'll leave it as square click on create and boom add to collection and done so if we go to summer sale now you'll see our summer images has been added there's the landscape image there's our color now you're probably wondering how do you create these instead of having to create the groups on the fly you can just come to the top right here and then click on add new group and this is where you can choose the different types of groups in here. If it's logos, colors, fonts, whatever, you can choose what you want, choose the type of imagery to go inside of it. 
So you can cre pre-create these if you wish, or you could just add them on the fly like I showed you how to do before. So that's basically how it works. It's nice and quick and simple. And now finally, the last piece of brand bay that I'm gonna be showing you is the Chrome extension. So let me show you how it works. Let's just say I was inside Canva and I was looking at creating some type of graphic. What I could do is click on the brand bay Chrome extension and what you'll notice is it's actually going to go ahead and open up your brand bay in an iframe just like it has on a normal login on their website. And what you could do is quickly click on the brands, choose the brand you're wanting to create an asset from, let it load for a couple of seconds and then you can come in, choose the different colors that are listed. For example, if I wanted this dark blue, I could just click on that. It's been copied, close this tab and then go to the colors tabs. Let's just say it was for some text. Go ahead and then you could paste in that color. Boom, it is ready to go. Same thing with the different types of fonts. So once again, click on brand bay and it's going to stay at your last page so you don't lose any work. So come to fonts, you can see this one is Lato, it's 36. So once again, close that, double click on everything, and then you can go to 36, click on Lato, and then it is basically good to go, right? It's just a resource that is very quick and easy to have. Instead of having to go into different folders, different websites, different bits and pieces, everything is just one click away inside of BrandBay. So it's very cool. So that's basically Brand Bay, guys. What I'm going to do right now is just jump behind the camera. I want to talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that is Brand Bay. Now, as you can see, it makes life so much easier when you're running multiple different brands or clients. You can quickly and easily get all of their different branding colors or their logos or their images. You can even have their different templates all just a click away using Brand Bay's Chrome extension. So this is just going to save so much time and hassle, especially switching between things. At the moment, all of my assets are in either notes or in folders and they're sort of spread out everywhere. So this is going to centralize all of that. That information so overall I think brand bay is an amazing piece of software once again if you are thinking about getting it if you need something like this in your life they do currently have that promo that they're currently running for their launch so if you want to get that make sure you check out the link in the description but that is my brand bay review if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you haven't yet hit subscribe and make sure you tune in to check out the next few videos I've got some crackers coming so make sure you check them out that's it from me and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.